Okay, apparently I'm done talking to him. Please escort to this, this suspect horn. for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. Percival? Alright, let's take a look at you, Percival. I like this guy much better already. He's got a fabulous beard, too. Alright. Uh, oh! Aww. Should take some of that other guy's money. <laughs> Always something with the hands. All right. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, uh, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Several, hmm. you say? Can you tell me more about the baths? Where well, are we're hoping the other to ones? retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site and to list any what? items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. Uh, that's what was your dodgy. relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no, uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? Mm. I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, oh God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Hmm... Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. But we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck. And with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Uh, Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Mm. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. Hmm. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And, uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. Oh, that's bullshit. You had uh, this letter. This with letter you. reveals we that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop this to your letter. This letter is key information. Uh, yes, but. Since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about <sighs> that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. What about your own expectations? If we it discovered was your some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Hmm. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. That's it. Just no. Right. 
How about you? Please Hero? escort this suspect for interrogation. That guy's right up to the bars. Why isn't he sitting down like the other two? A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Yes. Ah, uh, 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 I am Tristram Garrow. Hmm. Seems really like meek and. Maybe something that I'm missing. Right around here, maybe? No. Let's go backwards. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. What is your occupation? I, I am a counselor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing? A counselor? At the well, I, I follow the researches. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. Like on Twitter. So many things happened and w w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, yeah. I, I meant nothing by, by that. I, I apologize. Uh, what you're was weird. it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. He was a hard man. But then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you and he uh he, he trusted me but uh oh are you feeling unwell oh, i'm sorry he is i oh, i remember oh I, I feel so sorry do you need anything i uh i i, I feel bad i am uh, i hear no nothing I, I i i'm better now yeah you need to go to a psych ward. please try to recall what you saw today the room was so so hot, uh, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well I in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. You saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was, was shining like, like gold. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring. Digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Oh. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I... I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's not helpful. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. That was weird. We discovered some weird melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Uh, that didn't 
tell me anything either. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. He's definitely not an actor. That made no sense. Let's see what we've got on our mind mappy thingy. Oh damn, look at all these things. Okay. Uh Oh, sweet. Why would Sir Rodney be hiding anything? Could his discovery be motive for the crime? Oh, oh sweet. Find out where Sir Rodney was several days before his murder. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do murder investigations. Um... work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney, but at a high cost to his morale. His work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney. He was thankful for the possibility of their working together and the chance of learning from him. Well, I guess. I don't know. Uh... Nope. Um, strange wound, liquid blood maybe? Ice knife? Ice knife. Uh, let's go with this. Cool. Uh, is there anything else that stands out? Side the brazier, and his glasses were- whoa, wow, I'm good at this today. Okay. Uh, the item of silver has been recently melted in the brazier. Yep. Yeah. Well, it wasn't his glasses. Okay. Whoa, it's still there. Okay. Uh. Arrived several. Strange wound. Nope. Uh. Alright, I think that might be it for now. Let's see. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have the map. Okay. Okay, so we go to Baker Street to find out where the map is pointing to. Oh, I mean, we're gonna do another map mashup, like the train one. That was kind of lame. like I probably can't use that. Oh! Is that a map? Oh, look at that. I can get over it. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Okay. Uh, it's like a big chunk. And then like Crossroads. I want some water. What about over here? No. Nope. Oh, is it Watson, there? Watson, pack your bag. We are Sweet. visiting a location in St. Albans, marked okay, on Sir Rodney's map. Okay. Hey, look! It's where the dirt was from. Okay. 
This archaeological site has been abandoned. Why did Bentcliffe come here? It's pretty. And ginormous. Okay, let's search his cabin first. I guess. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. This is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. Cool. Look, more clay pots. Oh, what's that? Followers of Mithras were co covert worshipping more conventional deities such as Juno and Neptune in their everyday lives. Mithras temples were usually found below the temples of other gods. Mithras followers often referred to their traditional deities to gain passage to the Mithraeum. Mithraeum? Sure. The example of Rithrium of Duo in France is interesting as the entrance was located beneath a carved statue of Diana. This entrance was possibly revealed by a clever stone and rope mechanism which may never have been discovered if the water infiltration or er, yeah, infiltration had not destroyed the mechanism, opening the way down to the Mithraeum. Mithraic temples can now be found in Rome, Ostia, Numadia, Dalmatia, Britain, and along the Rain Dupin frontier. Dan da Danube, maybe? Sure. While being somewhat less common in Greece, Egypt, and Syria. It's interesting. Not super helpful, I guess, other than maybe we'll find one underneath stuff somewhere. Look, more things for me to read, terribly. And the empty coconuts that they used to imitate the sound of horse hooves, another strange ritual of the old gods to keep the evil spirits away, aka reference to Monty Python. The people feeling that the dark eye was upon them would melt their valuables in fire. Oh, oh. Interesting, actually. The Supsaron tribes burned fruit and the rich Roman family spared no expense melting silver or tin. It is not recorded if such valuable offerings were thrown away with ashes or if they were reused in, at a later date. Interesting. So maybe it was just like a coin in the uh, especially when he freaked out about like the ring and stuff that it had to be destroyed. Oh look, cubes. Yoink. And a report. The knife used by Mithras was the Toronotonomy, the sacrifice of the bull, is originally a curved sacrificial blade of Persian origin. Its curve can be from 5 to 15 degrees. The name is derived from the Persian Shimshir, which means sword. This radically curved sword family includes the Shimshir, Scimitar, Talwar, Kilji, Pulwar, and Mongol Saber. The myth of the gold knife is the key to the Mithraic mysteries that some describe as the equivalent of the Holy Grail. Oh, cool. The golden knife carries a curse that will spill the blood of the unworthy who dare to touch it. Does that mean that someone touched it? The cult of Mithras was a mysterious religion practiced within the Roman Empire from about the 1st to 4th century AD. The name of the Persian god Mithra, adopted by the Greek as Mithras, was linked with a new and distinctive imagery. Worshippers of Mithras had a complex system of seven grades of initiation with ritualistic meals. Initiates would meet in the underground temples, called Mithrae, that were retained in large numbers. The iconic scenes from Mithras show him as being born from a rock and slaughtered by a slaughtering a bull. Which is a word I can't say. That's cool. Not important. Bull killing. Okay. 
that's all the stuff in here. Let's take a look at our scene. So we've got... Whoa. Scene right away. Oh, hey, look, a cyclops. Alright, let's go look at the cyclops. That was really weird. Look at that, we were in area one. The Cyclops, a one-eyed creature helping Vulcan at the forge. Cool, and I'm guessing that's Vulcan? Vulcan, the god of fire and metalworking. Alright, is that, uh... Some, like, little pictures on the walls. Okay. Oh, what's over here? this area too? Area two. Some rope? I don't need the ropes for now. Oh, that's ominous. I'm gonna need rope later. Okay. What's this? There's a pit here. Pit. It's a rather... It's like a well. There's no way they just, like, made that. Okay. Oh, I stole his trowel. tools. A bucket, shovel, and brush. We we're cleaning out their well for them. Why are there? Okay, whatever. Uh, what's over here? Is this number three? We put in the pieces. I want to look at this now. Yep. Okay. We have this arch thingy. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything actually down there. Uh. Oh, and that's four. It's down here. Oh! Oh, look this at that. This wall was covered with mud recently. What could be hidden here? It's not very well covered. Alright, let's scrape it off. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Wee! Never can make a smiley face. Uh, kinda. Maybe over here. Yeah. Okay. Look, it's the frigerium. What else do I need from this? Come on, guys. I've clearly solved it already, and I made a happy face in mud. What could you possibly want more from this? Come on, Holmes. Is it? No? Okay. Oh, you want to be to uncover all the naked people. See that? Pervert. I can see now. Yeah, sure you can. Frigidarium. Um. It is located at the Roman Baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. Well, those are totally statues. Okay, cool. Um. Is it side five over here? No, that's the four sign. Look at this. They're statues. It is a statue of Minerva. I thought Minerva was a dude. No? Okay, whatever. About this one? Nope. Ah, there's another Venus de Milo. Okay. Neptune, yep. the god of the sea. Whoa, man. I did not mean to move the camera that fast. Alright. Man, look at that tree. That tree is crazy. Just like. Whoa. Alright, what's this Construction hooks. Uh-huh. Looks like I'm gonna want them later, too. Oh, what's the sign say? I need to know if I move to five or six. One of those. Oh. Area of interest, five. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like there's a little shack over there.
It is a broken statue of a bull. This is the map of the site. We are at Wow, that water is really The gastrofets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Gastrofets. That is a new word for me. Okay. Get away from the water. It's really loud. Cabin number two. to look at the door. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. My god, calm the wildlife down. Can't hear him think. Alright. Stealing more reports. Ooh, Blackmore. Dear Lord Blackmore, the manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, was quite a nuisance at the start when I arrived. After you stepped in, he became rather more helpful. Whoa. Occasionally, people of his rank are not well suited to a work of such great magnitude. They lack the necessary vision. In a few weeks' time, I hope to bring news of the Strand Lane Baths. I am on the verge of discovering a major archaeological artifact, one that might be used politically by your party to demonstrate the strength of our ancestors and fulfill the need to protect our empire from any present and future threats. That's weird. Oh, apparently I finished searching the site. So, okay. Well, I'm going to take stuff anyway. Because, uh, that's how I feel about it. Just told me I was done and yet yeah, here's more stuff that I can pick up. Calvin Hobbes. <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. And you consider yourself as being so smart and funny. I had a, la a good laugh when you froze Miss Durkin's notes uh, about the Ark of Hedron in the ice. However, our thesis exams are just ahead, and as you are s the so-called brain of your improbable duo, I have to warn you that my get uh, uh, my model gastrofet, I have issues with words. Deal with it. Um, yeah. Jeez. Uh, ancient Greek Cospo and not the medieval device to relieve constipated people, as you might have thought, is not to be touched or else I'll have to inform Ms. Mr. Wormwood about everything you've done these past two years. I ate Hobbes tuna sandwich. S. Spit. That's really random. This yeah. is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. Okay. Well, it said I was done here, so let's go. Apparently there's a bunch of stuff I have to- oh! There's another thing I have to do at home. So, let's go to Baker Street again. Doodle -doodle -doodle.